Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Mother Teresa. Our opening hymn this morning is All Are Welcome. Father, and the Son of the Holy Spirit, the grace, the peace, the love of God the Father who raised Jesus Christ from the dead be with you always. As we prepare to celebrate this Eucharist um, with a, a fullness uh, of the sense of our own failings, but also um, the needs of our world, uh, let us put ourselves in the presence of God. Lord Jesus, you are, are the light in this darkened world. Lord, have mercy. You have shown us the way of love. Christ, have mercy. You are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and to grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission and returned from Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now, now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues, the word of the Lord. Amen. 
Responsorial Psalm. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May all the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless you, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. Whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my word and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So that I say, I say as the Father told me, the gospel of the Lord. So um, Jesus Christ and the Father are one, and um, we have uh, in the Gospel of John later, but certainly in Acts of the Apostles today, the presence of the Holy Spirit. So we have uh, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, um, really uh, an expression of love. Um, the the uh, Father is a lover, the, the uh, Son is the beloved, and the, and, the, and the Holy Spirit is the love they share. And this love is so great that it uh, radiates out into creation. And so at the moment of creation, when there was first the, the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, let there be light, um, so it was an expression uh, of love. And so um, e- even uh, in the continuing uh, failings of, of creation, especially in humanity, um, the, 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 the Father loved the world so much that he sent his only begotten Son. And so this son uh, is an expression of the creator God's um, love. And so when we look upon the cross, when we hear his word in the scriptures, when we reflect uh, on, uh, on the great miracle of the resurrection, we see the love of God coming forth into our world. And, and of course, another name for that love is the Holy Spirit, um, uh, the Holy Spirit who moves us and grows us, and so this um, this love is, uh, in another way of saying, is uh, the light of Christ. You know, we um, we have the Paschal candle during the season of Easter, but at Easter vigil, it's uh, it was the only light radiating through the entirety of the uh, uh, of the of the church. Um, it was uh, the light that was rejoiced in the exultant. 
And that light, of course, is but a symbol of the great light that is Jesus Christ, which is our inspiration, which overcomes darkness. And so if you go into a completely darkened room and you light a candle, the light transforms the, the room into the, to, to the light uh, and, and, and one can see. And so we invite the Lord Jesus Christ into our lives that we are able to see, that we are able to experience love, and that we too will be light for our dark, darkened world. And so this um, certainly was true of the early church, wasn't it? Acts of the Apostles. Um, we see our two heroes, Barnabas and here named Saul, who we know is, is Paul. Um, the, um, Barnabas and, and Saul are, are sent off on these various missions. The first is a, a mission of relief, of um, taking supplies to Jerusalem. So Antioch, the city out of which they um, were sent, um, a, a, a very Gentile Christian community, um, sending relief, and uh, uh, Antioch, a very affluent city as well, sending um, financial or uh, food relief to um, the, um, the, the destitute people of Jerusalem at this time, suffering uh, uh, financial and uh, economic setback um, uh, in, in need of food. So um, that, that's a manifestation of the love of Christ, isn't it? The light into the world is, is the camaraderie, the, the fellowship that the Antioch community has with Jerusalem. Um, we're, uh, of course, involved in that very much, especially through our Knights of Columbus, but all of those of you who supported um, the Knights in bringing food uh, last Sunday that we might help out our sister parish, St. Martha, at their food bank in feeding, um, in, in feeding the, the, the poor and the destitute. Very, very much in our, ingrained in our, in, in our lifeblood is this sense of compassion for others and, and a big part. But after... They, um, they, they did this mission, um, they were set aside, the same two, Barnabas and Saul, um, to now go and proclaim the good news. And so we need to find our footing in that area. Um, a little better at uh, material compassion for those in need, uh, a little bit outdone by the world and some uh, non-denominational Christians of being able to proclaim the word to others. And so it's a it's really something we need to struggle with, and, uh, and many of us, uh, even in our leadership, seek to avoid, and, and that's uh, spreading the good news and, and inviting others in. Um, uh, the, the, the food relief is fine, but there is something more we have to do in proclaiming Christ, the, the light of the world. Um, interesting uh, notes as you go through Acts of the Apostles here. This is chapter 12 of Acts of the Apostles, um, is that Barnabas is in charge. Barnabas is the senior one. Barnabas is a great hero who has brought uh, Saul into the community, um, restored his reputation in Jerusalem, um, traveled with him to Antioch. Um, he's um, he, he's uh, someone who was very generous in the beginning, uh, quite affluent, giving up all of his wealth um, for the common good of the community. And he's the, the senior um, uh, Christian among the elders in Antioch at this point. So he, along with, um, with Paul, are sent. Now this this, this terminology is very important because it means they're apostles. Apostles means one who was sent. And so although these two are not part of the original 12, they carry the title uh, of apostle. And take with them John Mark. Um, and, um, and they go to uh, Barnabas' uh, uh, home in Cyprus. Um, may uh, we find ourselves, uh, first of all and foremost, or, no, first of all, with, um, with compassion for those who are sick, for those who are in need, for those who are uh, suffering economic decline. But may we, our hearts and our minds go out even more strongly uh, to those who hunger for Christ, for those who are far off, for those in need of the word of the gospel. Um, may they hear our, our voice and, and come to the light. Please rise. Let us bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for um, the universal church um, that, as um, Pope Francis has been called to shepherd us in his old age and in most difficult times, may the Holy Spirit continue to fill him with wisdom and, and strength. May he be guided in everything that he does um, by following in the footsteps of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for um, our political leaders. Um, perhaps we could pray and uplift especially um, our state um, government, uh, Governor Newsom, and all those who advise him, all those who have a role in, in guiding us through the difficulty of fighting the pandemic and at once restoring um, employment for those who, who yearn to, um, to provide and, and to serve. May um, our, our state leaders and all state leaders be um, guided by the same wisdom uh, that we call the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for um, our own local parish um, in thanksgiving for the recent service of the Knights of Columbus. We pray for the ongoing transition into our, into our new offices, um, the work that, technical work that needs to be done. Um, we pray in thanksgiving for all that has gone before in, 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 in reaching this milestone. We pray that um, as we prepare for phase two and phase three, um, that uh, we may be guided by wisdom and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray um, for all those who are at this moment sick. Um, may um, they experience the compassion of Christ for those with the pandemic or, or even the many more that suffer from um, cancer and, and heart ailments and, and, and chronic sicknesses and so many other afflictions. May the Lord touch them and heal them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, too, for all those who are distant from the Lord Jesus Christ, for those who don't walk in the light, for those who um, have been afflicted by the darkness and even embrace the darkness. May uh, their eyes be opened, as was uh, Paul's, um, to, the, to the fullness of the truth that is Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray, too, um, for all souls for whom um, this uh, Mass is offered. Um, we uplift in our, in our mind's eye right now all those who have died that we care for. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we uplift to these our prayers. Strengthen us as we seek to follow your Son in love and light. As we pray in his name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. <coughs> o God, who by the wonderful exchange uh, effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may... Make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our, our Pope, uh, Gerald, uh, our Bishop, Alberto, our coadjutor, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Mother Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. One voice and one heart, let us now pray in the words that our Savior Jesus has given to us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now invite the Lord Jesus Christ into our lives, our hearts, our minds, our souls. In this spiritual communion, as we hunger for the Eucharist, may we recognize that Jesus is with us in the word, in our community, in the life and love that we share in this sacrament. He continues to be with us. And so we invite the Lord Jesus into our hearts, who is the Son of God and the Son of Mary. We invite the Lord Jesus into our lives, who is the, the, the light of the world, who is the manifestation of love, who is the way, the truth, and the life, who is our one guide, our one teacher, our one healer. We invite the Lord Jesus into our lives, who is the gateway unto eternal life. Let us pray. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that graciously as you are present to your people we pray, O oh Lord, and that you lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So um, we will have some information in the upcoming bulletin. It's not in there now um, about the um, uh, blood um, donations at St. Catherine's and um, St. Martha's. Um, they're both holding blood drives. I think they're both in June. And so there'll be details there on how to um, make an appointment and, and, and be about that. They say it'll take about an hour. And they do need a minimum number of people, so 
let's uh, go out and support our sister parishes, St. Martha's and St. Catherine's for the, the blood drive. There will be as well some information about the, um, about the phases, uh, Governor Newsom's phases, and what we can expect. Uh, of course, direction will come from uh, Bishop Barnes and uh, diocesan leadership in terms of uh, exactly how we will implement that in the parishes. So that's, that's going to, we're have to going to look for the leadership of our local church uh, in terms of coming together in, in that realm. Um, we are uh, making progress in moving to the new offices. Um, uh, while much has been done there in terms of uh, security, alarm systems, phones, um, there'll be some um, movement of computers today from uh, the rectory to the new office. And so more and more um, the um, center of administrative activity will occur down here at our, our office annex. Um, continue to um, pray and for all those um, suffering in this time and, and I do also remember to invite others to join us in our live stream masses. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is endless. Let's go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please join us in our closing hymn, Make Your Home in Me. It'll be found on the side of your screen. I, get, I didn't get that. What is 620, it? 620, Make Your Home in Me. What is it? Make Your Home in Me. It's marked. Yeah, which one? Make Your Home in Me. Okay. Lord, you come to me in your home.